Um, here's a small video on how to use GeoGebra for doing uh, regression. Um, this can be done in, uh, in more than one way, um, but I think the best way to do it is to use, well, is to actually uh, type in a set of points and then do your regression analysis in the graphics window here. Um, uh, you can you can add the points in uh, in more than one way. Uh, you can you can just type them in down here as point coordinates, but you can also add them in um, in a spreadsheet. So if you open the spreadsheet here, um, a small spreadsheet that appears over here, and um, in the A column you can add, for example, your x coordinates. Um, so here we could type uh, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, for example. And over in the next column, you can put in the corresponding y coordinates. So it could be, um, yeah, well, I don't know, point one, point three, uh, one. 1.3 and 2.1 for example. So right now we only have these set of points or set of uh, numbers here. Um, we want to make them appear as points over here. So what you do is you mark the whole area here and you right click and you choose create. You can't see that, sorry but it says create a list of points so as now, now you can see um, the points here appear over here so you can turn off the, the spreadsheet uh, so you have a set of points appearing over here um, and you can also see the point uh, the, the points here in the algebra window what you can also see is the list of points called list one here um, so now we want to analyze the data here this is some sort of data set and we want to make uh, the the line of best fit it could either it could be a linear but it could be, or it could be an exponential as well perhaps so what we do now is that we um, we want to do the regression and to do regression you always start with the command fit and then it gives you things to choose from fit x for exponential for example a fit line for a linear and you, there are lots of them lock polynomial uh, rather useful power function and a sine function which we haven't uh, seen yet but for, for example if you want to um, fit this to an exponential uh, you choose this and then you have to add a list of points. Well, we have a list of, list of points. It's called list one. So you simply type list one and press enter. So here it found the, the best fitting exponential. Um, the equation is over here. Um, so rather oddly looking, perhaps, but um, you could say you could say the. Um, the initial va initial value or the uh, the y-axis intercept is the 0.61 here. Um, the base number is e to the power 0.76. And you can uh, you can uh, calculate that as the decimal number by hand if you want. Um, okay, let's make another fit. Let's do a fit a, a linear fit as well. So you could press fit line call the same list of points, list one. So here's a linear um, instead. Question is, uh, which one is the better fit, linear or the exponential? Um, to measure that we could use uh, the R squared. And if I'm not mistaken, the R squared is called R squared, but let's have a look. R squared. Yeah, R squared. So if you type R squared, what it wants is a list of points, list one, and it wants to compare the data set to one of the functions. So you could call either if, f, or 
Yeah, well, it didn't really make that as a function, but uh, we can correct that. But we can uh, make it compare to f anyway. Um, so it comes up here as b equals 0 0.78 um, to show more to sm show more decimals you can uh, change the decimals here in rounding so here's five decimals so this might be well it's my this might not be a very acceptable acceptable uh, fit so um, we could perhaps we would perhaps want to to uh, compare it to that line here instead. Um, problem is it didn't give it a function name. I'm not sure if I can do it like this. I'll try it. So R square uh, list one. What is it? Mm, it's called A. I'm not sure that works. It did somehow anyway. So if you call it, the name here is A. So it compares to the line A now. As you can see here, the uh, the R square value here is 0.96 instead. So that's a much better fit. So it seems like it would be better to model this data set with a, um, a straight line instead of an exponential. That's all.